let us discuss this new concept that is greatest lower bound okay so let us see what is its definition we are already familiar with lower bound getting so now we are going to see greatest lower bound so that if you have any set s which is subset of r okay then small m be any real number so when we say it is the greatest lower bound or infimum if it should satisfy two conditions the first condition is it should be lower bound and second condition is if there is any lower bound of a same set s then m should be greater than or equal to that lower bound then we can say m is a greatest lower bound if you focus on this word you can easily understand the concept okay what is the word greatest lower bound that means it should be lower bound and the second it should be greatest it should be largest lower bound for example if i consider this real line and if we have this set closed interval ab so i can say this l is lower bound of this set this p is lower bound of this set but these are not greatest lower bound since we can find one more lower bound greater than that okay so this t so t is also lower bound of this set but it is also not a greatest lower bound so what will be the greatest lower bound or infimum of a given set a getting so a will be the a is also a lower bound of this set but it is a greatest lower bound of this set okay or you can also call it as infimum make a screenshot of it after that we will discuss few examples let us discuss this example so in this uh, example given set a has only five elements 2 3 4 5 and 6 clearly it is bounded below our target is to find its infimum or greatest lower bound so here easily you can say minus 1 is a lower bound of this set since all elements of this set are greater than or equal to minus 1 okay so i will clearly mention clearly minus 1 is lower bound of set a as well as you can say 0 is also lower bound of this set 1 is also lower bound of this set 1.5 that is also lower bound of this set all these are lower bounds many lower bounds we can find but we are interested in greatest lower bound and there is only one greatest lower bound so that is we can call it as infimum also that is 2 2 is its greatest lower bound getting so here 2 is greatest lower bound or you can say infimum of set a okay so you can make a screenshot of it after that we will discuss one more example let us discuss this example so in this example given set b is a closed interval i have shown here on the real line and we have to find its greatest lower bound so see it has many greatest low it has many lower bounds okay so greatest lower bound is only one unique okay see minus 2 Minus two is a lower bound of this set since all elements of this set are greater than or equal to minus two. I can clearly mention here. Minus two is lower bound of set B. Similarly, you can say minus one is also lower bound of this set. Getting minus one, zero is also lower bound of this set. But we are, we know greatest lower bound. So that second condition satisfies. satisfied by zero only getting so it is a lower bound as well as it is greatest so that's why it is a greatest lower bound so here here zero is greatest lower bound or we can call also it as infimum okay of set b okay so make a screenshot of it after that we will stop thank you bye bye